I have been sipping on a, a few weird things to try to get my palate back because, believe it or not, we filmed a ton of bourbon videos, but I really haven't drank that much bourbon lately, um, which has been good for the trip. Like, we drank at Matt's on the live stream, obviously. We drank quite a yeah, bit of Matt's on the live drink. stream. And then we had a Ben Holiday pick, which we had, um, was there six six patrons with Six patrons with us on that one, I believe. And uh, I, let me tell y'all, Ben Holiday knows how to throw down. Yes. Ben Holiday knows how to have a good time. They, um, they have <laughs> the the most polished barrel pick experience we've had. And by polished, I mean absolute and total madness and chaos and fun. It was um, a lot of fun. That's Those are the ones I prefer. Like if it's super polished and like this is exactly what we're going to do. Those are not as fun as let's just let's just run rampant and do silly things. And their place is beautiful. Oh, it's a great like, place. It's just gorgeous there. So, so if you're ever in Weston, Weston, yes. Missouri, go by Ben Holiday. Take the tour. Have some bourbon. So I'm warming up my palate a little it bit here with really, their soft really red wheat. A great time. Uh, yeah, if yeah. you're going to go by Weston, definitely go to Ben Holiday and check it out. See if you can't grab some of their Rick House proof stuff out of the gift shop. That they asked cool. me today what labels to put on the Holiday barrels. Mm. Now, we, we were going to do Jill's mistake on one of them. I know. We didn't do it. I didn't do it. Good. You may change it? I can. So the wheater, the first one we did that you just nailed. I nailed it. Oh, I nailed that it. That one's going to be the proof queen. Oh, we did like put that. hand selected by the proof queen, and then the second one is just a bruise. Yeah, the second Appreciate one I I'm not um, proud of because I think like even in that first pick we did at Ben Holiday, I think I was going between two because and one of them it was just because it 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 wasn't as high proof, but it kind of it tasted that way because of the cinnamon. It, there's some cinnamon yeah, it had a little more just, oakiness yeah. to it. Yep. So I don't get it as oaky, though. Did you try the Rick House Proof stuff from Holiday? <laughs> yes. We, um, we That was all we tried. Our barrel picks are Rick House Proof. And then they sent a couple of Rick House Proof bottles. Having a good... They got the whole team there. They got a bar set up. They're like dishing... Although the... the the bartender did say I was the world's worst bartender. Well, because you We are. were talking about, Jill Jill loved their old-fashioned. I was like, is it better than my old-fashioned? Jill's like, eh. she didn't want, she was trying to be nice to me. She's like, eh. And then the bartender's like, I, I mean, I was on your channel, did say you're the world's worst bartender. I was like, <laughs> kind of nonsense. I, I almost didn't do the picks. We almost just canceled it right there. Very disrespectful. Oh. It was. It was fun. It was hilarious. Um, Old fashioned was delicious. It was but that uh, other drink. The bar's good. Oh, I don't even know what that was, I don't but it was what good. It's yeah, called, but that thing was that was awesome. Yeah, yeah. So I, I make okay. T my drinks are moderately tasty. I'm yeah. not good about like honestly. They were not as when she handed me the old fashioned was good. When she handed me that second drink, I was like, I would never make this. Has more than three ingredients. I would it never make really this. It was really good. But you make um, a great old fashioned. I do make I a pretty good old fashioned. Fashion. Mine tends to skew a little sweeter. Yeah, but, but I love good. that. Um, but no, the, the holiday, you know, they gave us the full tour, got to meet the whole team pretty much, um, at least all the leadership team there, and then the picks were, were really fun. What we didn't do, though, they took us into the cave that had all the Finnish whiskey experiments, and then we never made it around to trying all the Finnish yeah. whiskey experiments they said they were going to let us try. Mm. So we got to go back. Got to go back. We got to go back. Like, we got to do some, I want to buy a barrel of one of their, I want to try one of these experiments and be like, I need that barrel. Yeah. Oh, the cave of whiskey was really cool. That was a cool thing. They had, like, it's literally underground. Like, y'all got to understand with Holiday. We show up and they're like, hey, this spring right here, like, they're, Lewis and Clark camped right here. <laughs> and then they wrote about this spring in yeah. their journal and we're, like, sourcing water from it for it was our so distillery. Cool. Uh, it, like, there's a lot of history there. And so they had this cave. I forget what the cave was originally for. Like, young, young, Ben Holiday, if you've ever heard of Wells Fargo, not the bank, but like the stagecoaches, uh, Ben Holiday sold his stagecoach line to Wells Fargo. Like, dude, dude was, he had some money. He made some good whiskey. But we do have the Irish cream. So let me, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to grab the Irish cream right now. A lot of folks have been mentioned in that. The Irish cream, If yeah. my mic cuts off, Jill. It's a really cool bottle. Keep them entertained, Jill. Keep I'm going to, I'm going to try to grab this Irish cream. I don't know if my mic will cut off. So the Irish cream, I don't have any like Bailey's Irish cream or anything like that, but Whoa. that's a great bottle. Yeah. With the flip top, we got sideburns. That's good. Sideburns. Um, 
So this is single batch Irish cream liqueur. And I don't know what to do with an Irish cream. I'm going to be straight with y'all. I have no freaking clue what to do with this other coffee. than just drink it. I don't drink coffee. I put it in my so, coffee. Um, but this is from Holiday. And they sent us a couple of bottles of this along with a couple of their cash straight Rick House proof stuff. Ooh, the lady made pie. Tour made pies. Yeah, that's what you were telling me. Somebody said she made pies. But I don't, I don't drink coffee. I don't make pies. I eat pies. So if somebody will make me a pie with it, I I'll will make eat. I'll make you a pie. When? I don't know. I don't Next have Monday. We have no groceries in the house. Next Monday, am I having a pie with this? On the live? On the live. I want a pie with this Irish cream. Yes. Find me an Irish cream pie. Next Monday, we'll make a pie. And with I'll this make Irish a pie. cream. And yes, there we go. Okay. Definitely. Pour it on your cereal. Oh. I don't really... We, we do have some magic spoon up there. We do have some magic spoon. <laughs> so it, it tastes good. Mud slides. Oh, yeah, mud slides. It would be good in that. You're right. Mm -hmm. So like all Irish cream, it's not this Irish cream. All Irish cream has that kind of like malted milk flavor to it a little bit. Like, you know, just kind of taste a little bit like vomit. <laughs> Infinity barrel. <laughs> but it's still delicious vomit. Like it's, it's still good. It still has that little bit of like... Thing. Offness that, that comes with together. a milkiness. Ooh, make a white. It's Russian. all of them. It's not just this one. White Russian. What's it in white Russian? Somebody give me a recipe for a white Russian, and we'll try. And we are at time right now. If somebody gives me a white Russian recipe right now, and I have the ingredients, we I don't. will make it and try it before we get <laughs> onto that. If it takes Spring anything from our bokeh? kitchen, we have no groceries. Oh, no, we no, have no, no food. I think it's Kahlua and we Bailey's Irish cream and something, right? And then what it is, somebody give me, I, I have it. White. Mint liqueur and Irish cream? Russian. A white Russian is made with vodka, coffee liqueur, and cream. We got those things. How much? Give me recipes. Hold on, babe. We uh, got to get to it. One two-third ounce vodka. Okay. One ounce fresh cream. Two-thirds ounce coffee liqueur. Look at there. We do have it. I'm not shaking it or doing any stupid stuff to you it. You gotta stir it at least. I'll stir it. I will do that. All right. You need a. You, you yeah. Need a, here, right here, okay. right here. This one do. I got one right. There we go. Here's you a stir, a stirrer. All right. You gotta read those ingredients again. Okay, I, I will. It's one ounce, one two thirds ounce vodka. Two thirds of an one ounce of vodka. One and two thirds. Oh Lord. That's a lot of vodka. How am I supposed to? One and two thirds. I don't have a measurement for that. Maddie says one ounce of vodka. So just do one ounce of vodka. I think that's better. I like that better. I one like ounce their of vodka. Let's one follow their their ingredients here. Of Kahlua, and one ounce of the milk. So one ounce of each. So we just straight. We're gonna go with Natty Wits recipe because that just is easy to see and do. Oh, that Kahlua smells awful. I'm gonna be straight with you. Really. I don't like coffee liqueur. I don't like coffee anything. I love coffee. The only reason I have coffee in the house is because I bought some in a coffee shop in Utah. The only reason you have coffee in the house because you love freaking coffee. Yeah, but I have no groceries, so I have no of my. I don't have any of my regular coffee. Oh no, y'all talking about no groceries? Y'all want to talk about some some Hackenville redneck <laughs> shit upstairs? You go into the bathroom upstairs, and on the toilet paper roll is a roll of paper towels. And it's like on the roll. Like you're like, uh, come on. I was like, what in the redneck? Nothing. We you, came back home. I told the... Jill, I was like, get some get some toilet paper. She went to the store. She didn't get any. And then she's like, oh, somebody, Jackson's going to bring some up. He did not. I forgot. And so now she used to roll a tel or paper towels for toilet paper in like half the house. Nothing. You know, if you got to go, you got to go. Better than nothing. It needs to be cold. Well, the Irish cream has been in the refrigerator. Needs ice. I don't I'll have get ice. ice. Fine. I'll get it. Grab a grab a glass over there. I have a little bit of ice. I will get there. ice. Now, I'm gonna get some ice. We're gonna do it right. If we're what gonna do it, let's do it halfway know? right, not completely right. Oh, like this. Like I don't want to go all the way right, but I want it to be part Will of the this way glass right. Glass work? I don't know. Cold don't it know. is. Y'all demanded cold, and ask, and ye shall Drink receive. Drink it before it curdles. Oh. You missed it all. That's pretty good. I think the Kahlua is a little too strong. I think the like, like, it's just a little too much. Yeah, there's something in there. That, I like think it's, it's just, the vodka. It, no, it's the Kahlua. That the great thing about this drop time is it's a it's a full like corn vodka, so it's like super sweet, uh. and it doesn't 
like some of the vodka I have down here, it doesn't have that like really strong kind of vodka flavors to it. It's a little sweeter. It really blends into the drinks a little more. But add more cream. It could use more cream. Like the Kahlua is just a little too strong. Overall, still pretty good.